everyone! My name is Cecilia Wilborn and I'm part of Bridging the Gaps Recycling Team. Today I'm going to show you how to do an at-home waste audit. A waste audit allows you to observe all of the items that your household produces as waste and see what items can be diverted through reuse or recycling alternatives that you may not have explored before. And for anyone who is currently homeschooling children, this would be a great way to engage them, possibly include some math or science uh, education. Let's get started. Getting started on your waste audit is easy. You will dispose of your trash and recycling as you typically would. The only difference is you want to keep all of your food waste in a separate container so that after the seven days everything is in a dirty smelly mess. As your items collect you want to take them to a dry place such as your garage. Just be sure everyone in your household knows that they need to stay there and not get taken to the recycling center or the curb. You'll want a full seven days worth of materials to properly audit. Okay, I am at the end of my seven day journey. Um, so I'm now here in my garage with all of the things that I've collected um, and we will see what we've got. I'm excited. Uh, I have it all out on a tarp um, with the exception of the organics that we placed in a separate container um, to keep everything clean. Um, those will be composted. So, diving right in, I have some paperboard. I'm going to add that to my stack of cardboard that was too big, so we just had that in the garage already. So, I'm going to put all my recyclables here. Got some styrofoam containers from takeout. It's going to go in our trash. Got some plastic film that can go in um, our collection to take back to the grocery store drop off. Um, quick note on that, easiest way to tell um, whether things are the plastic film that can be recycled is if it stretches when you try to tear it. Got some very thin plastic um, containers that um, kind of tear that are not recyclable will go in our trash. Paper is going to be recyclable. Got glass that we can take back to our ripple bin. We'll take that to the ripple drop off once that gets full. Get some more paperboard. Got plastic containers. Gonna set that for our recycling. Got aluminum cans, of course, those are recyclable. Some more uh, multi-material items that are going to be trash rather than recycling. And I'm just going to go through the rest of this, see what I've got. Okay, so I have my trash, I have my recycling that's going to go curbside, got my specialty drop-off items. Uh, and that is what I've collected in seven days in our household. The point of this waste audit is to see what trash you produce and then find recyclable and reusable alternatives for some of those items. In our case, we have styrofoam containers for takeout. In a normal scenario, we would go to the restaurant, eat our food, and then if we have leftovers, we would have our own reusable container with us to take home the leftovers. Some items you will not find alternative for, but there's always room for improvement. Conducting the waste audit was a lot of fun and a very enlightening experience. Seeing the waste up close and personal really allowed me to explore what alternatives I can find to the things going into our trash. I hope that you find it helpful and find some alternatives as well. If we each make small changes, we can make a big difference. Thank you for watching and good luck with your waste audit.